Namaste. <clears throat> Today we are going to practice the Bhagavad Prana, the sex now breathing. The purpose of the practice is to make the practitioner aware of the three components of the breathing the diaphragmatic breathing, thoracic breathing, and the clavicular breathing. It helps to correct the wrong pattern of breathing and helps to increase the vitality of the lungs. So before the practice of sectional breathing, we need to know the mudras which are used during the practice. So this is called China mudra, which is used for the diaphragmatic breathing. So while we are breathing through the abdominal region, we use the China mudra. And just turning the rest of the three finger inward, we turn our wrist downward and go for the practice of thoracic breathing, breathing from the chest region. And in the third practice, we add up Adi Mudra, putting the thumb inward inside the palm and close your fingers and turn it downward. This is called Adi Mudra used for the clavicular breathing. While we are breathing from the shoulder region, we use the Adi Mudra. And at the end of the practice, we combine all the three sections, abdominal, thoracic, and the clavicular. It forms a full yogic. The whole body is breathing during the full yogic breathing. So we add up from Adi Mudra, we add up the Brahmi Mudra. Join the nostrils at the center of your abdominal region and breathe through all the three sections. So let's begin our practice with diaphragmatic breathing. So add up Chinna Mudra and start the abdominal breathing. So feel the abdominal movement while you inhale and exhale for nine counts. So avoid the chest and the clavicular movement. Feel the abdominal movement while you inhale and exhale. Feel the abdominal is bulging out when you inhale and while exhalation feel the abdominal sinks down. Now add up Chinamaya Mudra and go for the practice of thoracic breathing, the chest breathing. So feel the chest movement while you inhale and exhale. Avoid the abdominal movement. Adapt Adi Mudra. Put up, put your thumb inside your palm and turn it downward. Rest your wrist over your knees. 
Now we are going for the practice of clavicular breathing, the shoulder breathing for nine count. Avoid chest and the abdominal movement. Feel the shoulder movement while inhale and exhale. Let's go for the nine round up. Clavicular breathing. After the completion of clavicular breathing, let's go further, full yogi breathing. Bring your hands at the center of your navel, join your knuckles, and use all the three sections while you inhale and exhale. Feel the bulging out of the abdominal, chest, and the clavicle while you inhale, and while exhalation, sinking down of your abdominal, chest, and your shoulder coming down. So let's start for a nine round of sec full yogi breathing. Stay relaxed, feel the changes in your breathing, feel the resonance in your whole body, feel the change in your blood sugar, the skin and relax, observe the changes, feel the change in your breathing and relax. There is no limitation for this practice. Anyone can practice. So it has to balance the wrong breathing pattern and improve the physical health, mental health, and the spiritual health. It has to develop the inner willpower, the immune system, And brings a good health and a purpose. So namaste. I hope you like the practice. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Namaste.